Want to know how to get black pearls on the island? Well, I have several methods for you today in this video, so tune in and find out. Hello everybody, my name's Kaya and welcome to an Ark Ascended video where we'll be dipping into the ocean because that is the best way you can get black pearls when it comes to the island map. So you're gonna have to get your feet wet. I'm gonna first go over the most efficient way you can get black pearls by far when it comes to the island itself. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna want a good old beast for this one if you want the absolute best way to get black pearls here. So for my choice, it's a Mosasaur because I love a Mosasaur. You could also choose a really good Bazillo and you could also choose a really good Tuso to get the job done or if you're brave enough, a Plesiosaur. Now you can go anywhere in the ocean, but I think the best place to find what we are looking for is the easy ocean cave, if I'm honest with you guys, because often or not, it will have exactly what we're looking for. I will show another few points that I always find them at as well, but now we are going to go and dip into there. So at the moment, I'll show you a quick map reference. We are at 53, 4, and we are on the west of the island. So if we go down from this point, there should be a kind of landscape looking like this but it's especially red around where we want to go and this is the cave right here so here you go this is the cave we are looking for now this is no easy cave okay and again you don't have to go in the cave for this but i always find one of these in here but this cave is where i would probably go to get them most consistently and you can get some other loot while you're here on the way here we go go throughout the cave go towards the artifact room and usually i'm hoping there is this time <laughs> ah here we go there is usually an alpha basis or you can find in here now like i say you can find them pretty much anywhere but um you could definitely find them in here quite a lot as well I'm going to try and get this alpha base I saw. They also derp out in this cave. That's why I like getting them in here because a lot of the time they go against the walls and stuff and they don't know what to do. So it makes for quite an easy kill on these uh, actual mosasaurs. And here we go, we killed the alpha mosasaur and immediately into my inventory went 100 black pearls. Now they weigh tons for a stack, they weigh 200 on their own. But yeah, honestly, if you can kill alpha mosasaurs, they will give you the most black pearls. Now, the good thing about using a mosasaur to kill other alpha mosasaur is that this thing has tons of weight on it. So you will be able to, of course, hold a lot of black pearls and go around the island picking them up and killing them off you just have to be wary of your health because of course they are dangerous battles and if you, even if you go in that cave you're going to get whittled down quite a lot but it will guarantee usually some nice black pearls in that cave now other places i can find alphas tend to be where i am right now as a really good hot spot for any alpha it is too free on the map Another good spot tends to be down here by Herbivore Island. Generally, it's pretty good for some alphas or at least some really good tames. But I do quite often find Alpha Mesa here or Alpha Tuso. So those will both give pearls and you can have a look on the map right here. We are roughly about 99.95 and that is a good hotspot for them. Although to be honest, anywhere you can find a Mosa spawn generally will have a chance at popping out an alpha as well. These are just a couple hotspots I found for the creatures themselves. Now, another way you can get black pearls is by using something like a frog, a manta, or a dolphin to kill Eurypterids. Eurypterids are the ocean's lobsters and they deal a lot of torpor, so I highly recommend not doing these on foot. Now, usually I would use a big ocean creature like a mosasaur or something to just nom on them at the bottom of the ocean. But if you haven't got quite to that stage yet, you could use a manta or a nixie because these two do not gain torpor or knockback when you're dealing with Eurypterids. The other idea and thing you can use is a frog but you do definitely need to be careful with these because they are quite volatile to everything else down there and getting knocked out the reason why people use frogs though is because they do extra damage against eurypterids and gather black pearls at an increased rate so if you use a frog you will be getting more resources the uh, catch here though is though you are riding quite a weak creature so you do need to be careful of all the nasties down below because Eurypterids are found in the deep ocean. 
Uh, here's a Europterid now, so let's have a go at this guy. You can see I killed it in one hit, and we can kill that guy, and we also killed him. And that gave us six black pearls, but like I was saying, they do affect you torpor-wise, so they've already added quite a bit of torpor onto my frog. So you need to be careful to hit them first and not let them hit you if you want to use this method of gathering black pearls. But if you do, it'd be very efficient. Here's another couple of Eurypterids we could try on. Actually, it's quite a few. There we go. Lovely. So we're going to eat that. That gives us five black pearls. Get this one. Oh, I didn't quite get that one. Let's turn around. Ideally, we don't want to be hit. You can see I'm also getting chased by lots of nasties. That gave me nine black pearls. They gave me a bit more as well. I think that gave me about, what was it, four? Because I already had it on the collection. And in total on that little farm, I just farmed up 29. So you can see how efficient that can be using a frog. But like I said, if that's too risky for you, you could always try bigger creatures to get your stuff from. Another way to get black pearls, which I personally don't use because it means I have to use, well, one of these guys. But pretty much with this technique, we are looking for trilobites under the water with this thing because it can have extra damage against trilobites. Now this spot I found really good for trilobites in this little icy bay. Although to be honest, you can find trilobites all over the ocean, everywhere and anywhere. But let me just give you a short little example on how this kind of works. And here we go, we can ride it, there you go. And we're gonna go and find some trilobites. Now I'm only using a tech helmet to just give you an example of how many things are around and how to see it. Uh, I don't use a tech helmet usually for this kind of thing, I just eyeball it. But I just want to show you an example of uh, the creatures in the bay and showing you where to find the trilobites and stuff like that. So there's a trilobite down there, and if we go a little further in, there's a few trilobites around here I can see with fishies. So let me just turn that off, because usually you wouldn't have one if you're doing it at this time. And we want to go down, and what we want to do is we want to munch the trilobite. Now, one of the reasons I'm not too fond of this method is it's quite hard to hit them, but if you can hit them, they do a lot of damage against the trilobites. So if you wanted really early on uh, things like that, like pearls, black pearls and stuff like that, you could consider this method. The only thing with it is uh, it's not quite easy to see the trilobites and aim at them. Like, I'm really close now, but I'm not aiming at it. If you can grab it, you can get your chance to get some black pearls. And they don't give like tons and tons, but it's a good little tidbit of black pearls you can gather. So just free, I got four black pearls. So that's another method you could use. They're also really good at Kaiden, but I would highly recommend the other methods, if I'm honest with you guys. Especially the frog and the eryptorid one. I think that's probably the most efficient low level one you could do. And you could, to be honest, use Lazzy Chowder to provide as your scuba tank. You don't necessarily need a scuba tank because Lazzy Chowder works like a scuba tank you have to go up for air now and again that's the only thing with it now this next method i would definitely recommend having a basil for or something like a mosa but honestly basil is the best thing to do for it because it is immune to the type of damage this next creature is going to be giving and the reason you know, i'd use a basil against this kind of thing is because this squid cannot grab a basil and that is what we're going for if you go for squids on a basil he can't pick me up but he's going to give me some black pearls the only thing is it gets a little bit of ocean damage down the bottom of the ocean, but it's not enough to be fretful about. But here we go, we easily took down that uh, evil squid right there. If we look in the basil's inventory, you can see it got 21 pearls from that one squid, so that could be a really good way to do it. There's loads of squids in the ocean as well at the deep sea. They're all around the map, so that could be a way of getting your black pearls as well. There's a step up from this as well, because the Alpha Tuso also gives quite a lot of black pearls. Here's our next contender, an Alpha Squid. Now, this is also good on the Basil, because again, it can't pick you up at all. And if you go for this, you should be able to get even more black pearls. You get 75 upon a kill of an actual Alpha Squid. And of course, they won't pick you up at all. So if you go for this, uh, you'll be able to get some really good stuff as well by doing this. There you go. If you see you can kill an Alpha Tuso in its inventory, you're going to see 
you're going to be able to get 75 black pearls as well as a bunch of other stuff that is really nice and it can't do its grab attack on you the only problem is it does beat you up quite a bit especially if you got all the other ocean fauna after you and all that bad stuff but either way that's your way to get black pearls on arc ascended on the island i hope this video helped you out and you learned a thing or two if you did could you hit the like button that would be really appreciated and consider subscribing to the channel for more helpful tips and tricks and arc content in general for the very future anyway my name has been kaya thank you for watching love you and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye